Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Happy to have you here. Um, today we're going to crack into a cool technique that I use to find a few things, uh, keywords or and or niches. It's a really simple free tool. Um, so let's let's just pull it right up. The tool is called Keyword Tool, and uh, this is the URL, keywordtool.io, and then you can actually pick which website you're trying to pull keyword data data from, right? And it does it for you. I think we have like maybe like five searches per day on the free version. Not sure, but you might even have ten, or uh, maybe it's unlimited. I'm not sure. So, what you do, for example, let's say we're trying to find uh, the niche, you you would go something like this. You're just given a seed keyword, and then you get um, tons of examples of niches you get into. It's that easy. Funny gifts for vegans, funny gifts for scientists, funny gifts for sister-in-law. I don't know many people who are making specifically designs for sister-in-law, but if this is one of the auto suggests that are pulled up from Amazon, it means people are searching it, right? Funny gifts for boyfriends, animal lovers, funny gifts for college students, chefs. These are great niches that you can dive into, right? Focus on a niche because you know this traffic. Determine how much that niche is selling and then fatten the niche according to that data, right? This is really cool. Um, and you can obviously play around with the seed keywords. You can also do funny shirts for to get specifically what kind of um, people, uh, people are searching for to find shirts as opposed to just gifts. Because gifts can be much more general. But you'll find there's a bit of uh, overlap, right? Drummers, engineers, farmers, really good stuff. And so if, you, if you're like, oh, I don't know what niche to get into, just use this tip right here and you'll have plenty of niches to test and get into because uh, we're, we're drawing data from Amazon search bar. Uh, so what, there's no better place to get it, right? The other thing that you could do is like, say you're already making a shirt for, like say a horse themed shirt. The other thing you would do is try to find keywords. So what keywords could I put into my listing that I know people are searching for, right? And that Amazon is auto-suggesting because they're often proven to convert or they are, they're auto-suggested because that's what people click on that lead to a sale, right? So let's say gift for horse. Just start it like that and see if anything else comes up. Okay. So now we could think of putting some of these um, keywords in our listing because this is what Amazon pulls up when you write this, right? So horse jumping gifts, gift for horse lover, horse owner, horse gifts for adults. And you can just scroll down, see which one resonates with you. Horse gift for nine year olds. Check that out. So now you have a great intersect where you have a hot niche, which is horses, and another one, which is nine year olds. And you can intersect them to make a hyper targeted design and keyword because if you could just keep a clean, targeted uh, SEO listing with this main keyword, which is the horse gift for a nine-year-old. Um, it's a great way to increase your uh, chances of selling. Also, horse vet gift. I have yet to have made a design for horse vets. So there's some really big um, data that Amazon is giving you with this tool, and it's probably one of the best ways to find keywords and or niches. So hopefully that was useful, and it helps to solve your problem, which is I don't know what niche to get into because I don't know what people are searching for. This answers that. Uh, for you right there. Sometimes if you go to the prepositions, it basically moves the keywords around and gives you other variations of the uh, of the data, right? Gifts for women who like horses, very specific keyword there. Okay, so niches helps you find niches. Keywords helps you build your listing to increase the odds of you making the sale. Hopefully that is a, a super useful video. Um, I use the auto suggest toolbar a lot. Okay, um, if you like that, feel free to uh, comment any questions, like, subscribe, check out other videos. Thank you very much for watching and keep crushing it.